MLB The Show 19 released their first GameStop Monday video today, and I had planned on going through that video and unpacking all the things that were in it, all the things that Ramon was talking about, but really there wasn't anything that new. But there were a few things that Ramon said that made me really sit back and kind of think and kind of reflect on my experience with MLB The Show, and it made me realize something that I had never really uh, realized before, at least not to this extent. MLB The Show 19, or MLB The Show, the franchise in general, it's the best sports game on the market. And please don't misunderstand me whenever I say that, that, that it's the best uh, game on the mar uh, the sports game on the market right now. I don't mean that it has the best gameplay. I don't mean that the gameplay is always perfect. I don't mean that they always make their player base happy because believe me, I've made a lot of videos in the past, super critical and SDS, they can do a lot of things that can really, really piss off their player base. And there have been moments in this community where I had honestly thought about quitting and a lot of other people had as well. But the one thing that I can say for MLB The Show is that more than any other sports game, and it doesn't mean they're perfect, but more than any other sports game on the market right now, MLB The Show actually has a little bit of integrity. Now, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by integrity? I mean that MLB The Show is the only game on the market that isn't out to squeeze their player base for every fucking dollar they can get. Any game made by EA, any game made by 2K, they are going to do everything they can to just wring you dry until you're living homeless and sucking dick in some alleyway in Brooklyn. You know, I mean, th th that's what they're out to do. They want you to buy everything that they have and they're going to put in all these different roadblocks to make sure that you there's no way to have a good time unless you pay money. MLB The Show is a little bit different. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to be saying right now. You're going to be saying they don't have that much integrity. They don't post their pack odds on there. You know, you can't see your pack odds whenever you're about to buy a pack. And, and you know, it's just about getting lucky with packs. Or uh, they put in souvenirs this year and the souvenirs were super expensive and the only way to get the best players was to buy the souvenirs and that kind of acted as a, you know, as a barrier, a monetary barrier to the best players in the game. And, you know, that's really the theme. The theme is that a lot of people would call this game pay to win. And to an extent, it, it, it could be described that way but definitely not to the extent that a game like Madden, a game like NBA 2K, a game like FIFA could ever be described. I mean, that those games go way beyond MLB The Show, and I'm gonna talk in this video about why that is. So the thing that got me uh, really starting to think about this was in the GameStop Monday video, Ramon said that next year there, we're, we're gonna have stubs and that is going to once again be the one main currency that we deal with in MLB The Show. And I don't think a lot of people realize just how big of a deal that is. Most other uh, Ultimate Team modes or Diamond Dynasty type modes, they have a second currency that you can only buy with real world dollars. There's no way to earn them. There's no way to do anything else. And the only way, and the only thing that you can use those, uh, those things for is to buy things like packs or, you know, maybe a few other little things. You can't directly buy players with those, uh, you know, money to, to, or, or dollars to, to virtual currency type thing. All you can buy with it is basically, you can basically just gamble with it. That's basically what it boils down to. MLB The Show is different. Yeah, you can buy stubs with, with real world money, but there are also a lot of other ways to earn stubs and the other currencies don't really have that. Some of you might bring up the point that we do have a second currency that uh, we have tickets. And that's not really that great of a point because tickets doesn't really act as a second. I mean, it is kind of sort of a currency, but there's no way to buy tickets. You don't buy any tickets at all. You just earn them through playing the game. And that's that's an awesome way to reward the player. It's There's nothing exploitative about it. It's just you play the game you uh, accomplish missions and, 
and stuff like that and you get tickets back and with those tickets you can buy some really awesome players there was even an immortal yogi Berra this year that you could buy with that that had no souvenir barrier or anything like that you could just get the tickets and you could buy yogi Berra. that's amazing Another thing is that you don't really have to buy stubs. A lot of people think that you have to drop this ridiculous amount of cash to, to, to earn stubs, but that's really not true. There are tons of different ways to earn stubs uh, while, while you play in Diamond Dynasty. You can go through events, you can go through uh, rank seasons, you can get go through Battle Royale, and a lot of those different modes are, are skill-based. But it's really not that difficult to get to a point to where you're going to be earning a healthy amount of stubs just by playing the game, and you can use those stubs to buy the players that you want. You, I, I have never gotten to a point in this game ever where I felt like I needed to buy stubs to get something done. There was always another way to, to do it. A, a, another way that you can earn stubs is through the market itself. The way this market is set up is a lot different than other games. In other games, there's like this auction house and it's really difficult to figure out a way to make stubs on the auction house because all the prices, they kind of they kind of figure out a way to stabilize and there's no way to buy low and sell high or it's it's really difficult to do that anyway but on the market you can just put in a buy order get something for kind of cheap flip it over into a sell order and make about 2000 subs on the on the transaction i did that with diamond equipment basically for uh, half the year this year and all of 2017 and i made hundreds of thousands of stubs doing it that way it was very easy to do and, uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it's, th there are just so many different ways to make stubs that I don't ever feel the need to do it. And basically what the option to, the, the option to buy stubs, as I see it anyway, it's just the option to make life easier for yourself. If you don't feel like putting in the grind, if you don't feel like working the market or playing events or whatever, then you can buy some stubs. You can put in a little bit of real world uh, money and you can save yourself some time. That's really what the, the buying stubs does. That, that's really all it does is it saves you time because I promise if you were willing to put the time in, you could get the stubs. And all of this is to say that everything that MLB The Show or San Diego Studios does, all of it is player focused. Well, with a few exceptions, there are a few things where you can kind of see a, a little bit of greed, uh, you know, poking through maybe the souvenirs this year or whatever. But most of the things that they do, it's player focused. And you can even see, like, we can fully customize our uniforms. There aren't that many ultimate team modes that let you get, have your own style, your own look, and have, a, you know, thousands of different options to pick from on the uniform select screen. That you, I mean, it's just so cool that you're able to go in and make your own uniform where in Madden you have to play as the fucking Packers or, you, you know, some, one of those made-up fantasy teams that they did. I think this year they may have implemented something, but you had to pay for it or, or whatever. That, it's just another fucking way to squeeze money out of you, not with MLB The Show. You get your uniform and you can create it however you want. If you want to create your own MLB team, that's cool. If you want to do a fantasy team, that's cool. And that player focus extends to the things that, that, that sometimes we even bitch about. Like this year, a lot of people complained that the skill gap was diminished. And I agree. I think that that was a really bad idea on SDS parts, the way that they handled hitting and uh, it just didn't feel like it was very skill-based at all. It, it, there was a lot of luck, a lot of RNG. But the reasoning behind them doing that was totally player-focused, even though I disagree with it. Their goal was to try to get more people enjoying the game and to get a broader uh, uh, swath of players who could consider themselves to be uh, competitive. And um, I, I guess in a certain sense, that's a noble goal, even though I disagree with it. But there is no way to deny it that they were trying to make more people happy. You know, I, I don't think it worked. I think everybody was kind of miserable with it. But their goal, their intention was to make more people happy. And you can even throw the immortals into this as well. Um, I, I know, uh, you know, whenever they announced the Immortals and the way that they were doing attributes this year, I was really hyped. I thought it was a great idea. And, uh, and, and you could tell that really the entire community thought that it was a really good idea. But then once they came out and the way they rolled them out and everything, it kind of... It kind of made it to where it was all about the Immortals and none of the other cards mattered and nobody really wanted the other cards. 
and it turned into a thing that that ended up not being that good and the community really didn't like that much so you know that that was another thing that was kind of player focused but it just ended up backfiring on them and there are numerous uh instances of this where they're trying to give the player a better quality of life in the game but it just doesn't work it's just a bad idea now, I can't go through this video and say that MLB The Show is, is entirely player focused without uh, offering up some counterpoints. And there are some very valid criticisms of San Diego Studios where they weren't focused on the player. And you can see that, that you know, that they had money in mind whenever making these decisions. The first one is Road to the Show. Um, they, they change Road to the Show every year a little bit and make it a little bit better because it is one of their more popular modes, but it isn't the money maker that Diamond Dynasty is. So they don't put as much attention into it. And it I, I always feel like every year they, they, they promise something really big in, in, in Road to the Show and, and everybody's like, oh man, this year is going to be awesome in Road to the Show. But it's still kind of the same broken experience that we've been having for the past three to four years um, that they really haven't moved the needle forward that much. And I'm afraid that might happen with MLB 19 again, but I'll, I'll reserve judgment until I get my hands on the game. But uh, it feels like that, that mode leaves a lot to be desired. And it's if, if it brought in more money, then it would be a lot better. The most egregious example is definitely franchise mode. Franchise mode has been basically untouched for years and years and years. And uh, it looks like it's gonna go this year and they're not really gonna do a lot to it uh, in, the, in, in their uh, development stream schedule. Uh, the only thing they had tacked on the franchise mode was contract extensions. Like that's the only thing that they were doing was that you could give players contract extensions. At this point, it's become kind of a meme that that SDS just, they're they're not gonna fucking do anything to franchise mode. I mean, you, you you can want it. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants a realistic GM experience like Out of the Park Baseball gives you, and you can actually play the game. They're not gonna give it to you ever. Um, it, it's just, it's just a crap mode and it's been a crap mode for about five years now. Um, they haven't done anything with it. It's broken. Um, yeah, so that, that's a pretty egregious example. Maybe they can, they, I, I would almost be okay with them figuring out a way to monetize franchise mode if they could just make it better because I'm sick of the boring ass experience that I've been getting and they definitely would touch it more if it made more money, but they don't. Another really bad example was them uh, removing online franchise mode, and uh, they said it had something to do with the server capacity and all that, and I get it, man, their servers were really bad in the past, and they were a lot better this year, but everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people really loved online franchise mode, and if you have to, like, you know, pay a little bit more money to get more server capacity or whatever, I don't really know how that works, but... I'm sure there's a way they could figure out to, to, to get online franchise mode in. It may even cost them a little bit. And, you know, people would be really happy with that, but they don't do it. And that, that's a shame because online franchise was really one of the more fun ways to experience. It, it was almost like fantasy baseball, but you actually got to play in the games, you know. Um, I even had a league where I was gambling with, with my friends, you know, like we put $50 into the pot and the winner took, took all like the one that won the world series that year or whatever. It was a lot of fun, but not anymore. You know, it's not in the game. Basically all of this boils down to them being too online focused or specifically too DD focused diamond dynasty focused. Um, and it's understandable because that really is their cash cow. And if they didn't make money, we wouldn't get a game. I'm a capitalist. I understand it. I understand the reasons why they do the things they do, but it does uh, sometimes feel like they, they don't strike the right balance. With that being said, though, they strike a way, way, way better balance than any other sports game on the market. In closing, this video is really about trust and not our trusting SDS because a lot of people don't trust SDS to make the best, the best game possible. Hell, I don't even think I trust SDS to make the best game possible. Um, they, they have let me down uh, a lot of times, uh, probably more often than they've made me happy. But what this video is really about is them trusting us. 
they trust us that if they do their best, if they do their best to provide a solid game that all of us can have fun with, that isn't exploitative, that we will repay that favor by investing our time, occasionally investing our money, uh, you know, to get the different things that we may want, and uh, that that they can turn a profit on a game that is for the most part really really good they're not gonna make the big bucks like ea is making with madden or fifa or 2k is making with nba it's it's probably not gonna happen for a few reasons one that baseball just isn't as popular but for another that they don't really try to and, and that's that's a good thing they would rather have the loyalty and and the faith of their consumer then uh then try to exploit them for every fucking dollar they can get and uh ultimately i think that a lot of us lose track of that sometimes because you know hitting might be messed up or fielding might not be the best or they put in immortals or they did this one thing that was kind of exploitative um a lot of us can forget just how bad some of the other sports games are and just how good mlb the show is what do you guys think let me know in the comments am i right am i wrong is mlb the show uh an exploitative monster just like madden just like 2k or is there something a little bit different about mlb the show that makes it kind of special it certainly does to me but i want to hear your guys opinion i, I, I want to know what you guys think and let me know in the comments please leave a like if you enjoyed this video if you didn't or if you disagree with me i guess leave a dislike but that'd be kind of gay and it kind of bummed me out and i need self self-esteem boost right now really i always need self-esteem boost but anyways um i love you guys i will see you guys later but until then peace by the way i want my check within the week ramon